everyone for OneWrestling.com. This is Bill After. Welcome to the After Chat. Today, chatting with an old dear friend of mine, back from the fabulous ones days, Steve Kern. Welcome to OneWrestling.com. Thanks, Bill. It's a pleasure. It's always great to see you. You too. You too. And by the way, I understand that the WWE was going to repackage a new, this is before they came up with uh, the Matadors, they were going to repackage a new version of the Fabulous Ones from Mexico and call them the Fabulous Ones. Is that true? <laughs> I'm not sure if that's true or not. Not a bad sounds, idea, though. Hey, it might be successful. You know, it's been a while since the Fabs were around. It has. Now, the last time I saw you was several months back at the uh, grand opening of the WWE Performance Center, and you're currently working there as a trainer, correct? Absolutely. Have been with the uh, training and the developmental for the last six months, uh, six years now. So tell us now how the, uh, since you've moved from the uh, other training center to this magnificent uh, facility, uh, what's changed in terms of the way you're doing things? The technology, um, it's far superior to anything I've ever seen. The talent has an opportunity to not only do their interviews and soundproof booths, but they can watch them back. They can watch films from any era of wrestling, uh, the library and the collection that they have to go over to look for characters, look for identities, look for moves, stuff like that. Um, the technology is unbelievable down there in that new performance center. It's a 20,000 square foot place in there and it's housing 100 talent right now. Yeah, that's incredible. Let's go back uh, real quickly into uh, uh, you have such a storied career of course working uh, for Eddie Graham at the uh, beginning. What was everybody always says hey what was the highlight of this or the highlight of that? Well and you teamed with Mike Graham so many times you had the Florida belt. What was the highlight of your tenure back in those days in Florida? I think it was the Orange Bowl when Mike Graham and I went oh, up yeah. against the Valiant Brothers I and won the there. United States Tag Team Championship because that was probably my experience was the first huge show that I was on and it was the start of maybe the pay-per-views of this day. Main event was Harley Race against uh, Bob Backlund, I believe. I was believe that? Was. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so let's move on. Your days in the WWF as uh, WWE uh, as Skinner and a doink. And a doink. Yeah. I was the second doink, uh, Matt Bourne, original doink, and um, I was the one that come out from under the ring at Caesars Palace. He admits it. Finally, for years, I've been getting him to admit it. He'd never do it. I'm admitting it. I'm admitting it right now. All right. And what about your Skinner days? I love Skinner. Um, Skinner was a character depicted off of an alligator poacher. I had killed 15 alligators in the state of Florida. I have heard that. Yeah, at the first harvest that they had. And I just laid it on Vince's table and said, I don't know what you want me to be, but he asked me if I saw the movie Deliverance. I thought it was going to be Burt Reynolds because I'd just come off of being one of the fabulous ones. Yeah. How did I know it was going to be one of the guys in the woods with Ned Beatty that said, hey, boy, right. you got a right pretty mouth. So that's where it's from. That's where it started. So finally, if you are making ingredients to make the ultimate WWE superstar, what would you put in that bowl of ingredients? I would say mixture of five of their favorite wrestlers they grew up watching and steal one thing from each wrestler and that would be the perfect WWE superstar of today. Okay. Thank you very much, Steve Kern, and uh, we look forward to uh, some of your uh, trainees coming out and becoming the uh, superstars in WWE of today and tomorrow. Well, thanks, Bill. It's always a pleasure. My nice pleasure. To you. For OneWrestling.com, just give a point right out there. We'll see you at the matches.